project this morning, that back fence. It's cool, the rain has made everything just pop and it's all green and yeah, we're enjoying the cool weather. We're gonna take advantage and we're gonna fix the back fence. Good morning guys. It uh, went from being in the mid 80s to being very cool this morning. So uh, we are trying to seize that opportunity. Uh, the location we're at, the sun comes up right here and it really bakes us. Uh, so we take an opportunity while it's cool to try to get this portion of the fence taken care of um, so that the heat doesn't get to us. We've got a couple of days of cool weather. We're going to try to utilize that to the best of our ability. We move the cows to the front field. We're going to try to get this jungle down through here took out. And we're going to try to get us a nice new fence put in here. And hopefully from this point forward, take a little bit better care of it. So, time to get busy. And this is what it looks like when vines start growing up. They just take yep, over your they just, fence. They take over. I mean, it's it's horrible. And I'll come back and pull this post up and, like I did the last one, if I can. There's a big stump in it right here, and uh, we're gonna we'll pull the fence out, uh, clip it. You know, we're just going to cut it in pieces to get it out of here today because it's all grown up in these uh, weeds and, 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 and trees. Yeah, you've already trimmed these and look at them coming back out. <laughs> yeah, that's just in the last week since it turned to the mid 80s and warmed up. I mean, you look at this one here. This is, uh, I, I may even have to get in here with a chainsaw and just try to cut the tops off of these. To get to the fence. It just depends. I'm going to try to get in there. Uh, and, and you see how in. tall. <laughs> They're trees I now. Poison in this one. They were bushes. Now they're trees. And this in the south, it don't take it don't take long. We got poison. You see this? Yeah, I can't touch that. You see this? It comes. It starts at the bottom, comes through the fence, and comes out this side. So that has to all be cut out. Some of those come through the fence in different spots. That one down there has done come through the fence and lean the fence over. You can see how it's all intertwined in the fence. It's done pulled all through here. He's done cut some to get it out. See, had to cut all the way across here to get some of that out of there. It just pulled. There was a tree fell.
this is all intertwined all between here get it into the fence. Yeah, that is a mess. So what's still holding it? All up in this top. Huh. Now you got a tree. Well, guys, you know cows need shade. I've got a couple oaks here. I'm not sure about this one, but I, I think I'm going to try to keep it. I'm going to cut the fence out of it and move my fence over to the other side. I got one down there I'm going to try to keep. And uh, the rest of this stuff I'm just going to push out of here. But the, the cows need some shade. So, uh, And plus it's on a landline. It'll uh, make a good line for you one day.
piece down.
so plan B, he decided the trees have to go. He's afraid they're going to get too big and he's decided he wants a pretty fence, so out of working, after working all the way around trees, he decided to take these two trees out. <laughs> Always plan A, B, C, and D. He wants this fence row to look nice. The only way to do it is to clear it. got Yopons all in it he can't get rid of. The wire's all in it so we'll have more trees. So it is done. A clean fence row and now we just got one more section to go. All right, Danny's got these posts set and he's got those he's fixing to put down and we're gonna be stringing wire and have this looking awesome before the day's over. Well guys, 
it's later in the evening now. We've had our other chores to do throughout the day. We've uh, kept the cows out of the field all day. Uh, we're going to come back now. As you just seen, I tilled around the whole inside of my fence that we just put up this today and last couple of weeks ago. Now it's time to come in and spread some grass seed uh, up against the fence and under the fence and even on the other side of the fence so that we can get a good stand of grass going and uh, maybe overpower any weeds or anything like that before they get a chance to come up. Got several days of cool weather coming up. I think that that's probably going to be the best time to do it. It's just rained a little bit. Uh, I know a lot of people got a lot of bad weather out of this storm system that went through. We did not. We got, you know, we got a little bit of rain. That was about it. Uh, didn't do any washing or anything like that. Just, uh, just a good shower. And the ground is damp enough now that if we go ahead and put our seeds in, I think that they will germinate without any problem uh, pretty quickly and it being as cool as it is. I'm going to be planting ryegrass and Pensacola Bahia grass. Those are the two that can withstand the uh, The ryegrass will come up quick and go ahead and lock the root system in. The Pensacola Bahia grass will come up right after that. The Pensacola Bahia can withstand tremendous heat and drought. And by the time it gets up, the ryegrass will have died out and because uh, it can't take any heat at all here. So it's kind of a two-stage deal that I'm trying to get going. Okay guys, we're going to be seeding all this out in here. This at one time was just a big swampy marshy mess out in here. I came in here and backfilled it with all uh, dead wood and trees and limbs and stuff like that. And, uh, and I pushed a lot of dirt in here and started covering stuff up. Um, and we're trying to regain some pasture out of it so that uh, the cows will have a little bit more. We try to reclaim as much of our land as we can. We don't want to waste any of it. So I backed in here and look, today is March the 18th. Yesterday said the 17th is when all this bad weather went through everywhere. And guy, I tilled a swampy area today with no problem at all. That tells you how much rain we got here at Deep South Homestead. We just got just a, just a little bit of rain and we're thankful because it really was a blessing to us to only get just a small amount of rain because it allowed us to come in here today while it's cool behind this front and continue to work our place and not lose any time. So I'm going to go ahead now and seed this and after I get it seeded I'm going to get on a tractor and drag my bucket backwards and pack it all down so that uh, we have good soil seed retention.
All right, guys, we're fixing to spread some ammonium sulfate on the pasture now. Uh, it's the time of the year to do that here in the Deep South to make the grass get a real quick jump. And uh, it doesn't last very long in the grass. We can't put the cows on it when you do it. You got to keep them off, you know, for several days so they won't get nitrate poisoning. But um, we're going to take and do it with the Ranger. Uh, I bought, I did, I bought the Ranger. Okay, nobody gave it to me. Uh, bought the Ranger. <laughs> I bought all the fertilized system to put on the back of it myself. Nobody gave me that. Um, and then I taken and uh, I ran a wiring system underneath the Ranger and drilled a hole in the uh, underneath the seat here. And I came out and I mounted my switch here. Now this is a 12 volt system. I plug it into the 12 volt receptacle right here, and then I go back to the back and I'll show you how I've got the back set up. What I've done here is I ran a wiring system out here. This is a lot like a, uh, a pigtail on a uh, trailer when you're pulling the trailer. I take and fixed it where I can just plug the two of them together right here. It's just like a pigtail on a trailer. Now, if you'll watch this right here, whenever I go in here and flip the switch, That gives me my electricity that I need to the electric motor to be able to throw my fertilizer where I need it. This is the side of it that has an adjustment system to determine how much you want to come out. And it has a little uh, thumb screw right here where you can adjust this. And when I pull this back, it automatically starts falling out. The drawback to this is, this is made to go on and actually go, to go on an ATV and I have it on a UTV. And I cannot reach back here and pull this while I'm driving. So I'm going to get Ms. Wanda to pull it for me when I get ready. And when she does, I got to haul tail because there ain't no stopping till this baby's empty. So we're going to go down here and get ourselves lined up and we're going to get ready to start making the swing. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to us. Be sure to like the video. It puts us in a good algorithm and share it. And guys, that helps us too.